Hello everybody and welcome back. As always, I am Mateo311. Now this might not be Tuesday Newsday, but this is the weekly VR news and we have some great stories for you today. Last week was an amazing week. We got some incredible announcements like Half-Life Alex, and we got some new toys to play with like an Oculus Link. So today we're gonna cover all those amazing stories from last week. We also have some Black Friday deals and just some information on what else is going on in the VR world. First on the list is that incredible announcement of Half-Life Alex. Here's everything we know so far, recapped in about 30 seconds. One, it is coming out in March 2020. Two, it looks freaking amazing. Three, you may need to upgrade your hardware because the system requirements are actually higher than the system requirements for the Valve Index on screen. The game will have every form of locomotion. So there's a teleport, there's a shift, and there's a free locomotion available. It is about 15 hours in length. It is a full-fledged game coming in at $60 with a current 10% discount. If you happen to purchase any Valve Index hardware, meaning just the HMD or just the Knuckles or the Knuckles and HMD combo or the full package, boom, you got the game for free and that deal is going through the end of the year. So if you needed a reason to pick up the Index, well, here's a $60 reason. And finally, the internet lost their collective minds over should Alex have arms or not and why the hell is a new Half-Life game VR only. Moving on to games that just released, Vader Immortal Episode 3 is now available. That concludes the series. And if you buy a quest from now to the end of the year, you get all three of those episodes, $30 value, for free. Uh, it's a great series. I have a review up. I live stream the entire playthrough, so you can check out some of that stuff if you guys are interested. Aspire One VR Operative has also released. After two delays, it just suddenly snuck in. Remember this game was originally supposed to be released, was delayed, and then was delayed again one day before release. Very unprofessional, uh, left a bad taste in a lot of people's mouth. Now that it's finally available and they didn't make a big deal stating the release date, was it worth it? Might have been a little bit of a letdown, might have been a little bit overhyped. And it still seems to have some performance issues, some weird like shakiness to it, and just not running the way it really should. In other release news, Arizona Sunshine is coming to the Quest, which is pretty awesome. That'll be available December 5th. It is not cross-play, so you will not be able to play it with other versions, so you won't be able to play with people on Steam VR. That is a little unfortunate because it's going to cut down the player base. I'm actually more curious to see how it actually runs on the Quest because Arizona Sunshine was a game that initially did not run very well and still needs a little bit more oomph than your typical VR game. We got some new footage of Boneworks from Node and we finally know how to correctly reload in 2019. Boneworks is going to be available on December 10th with a $30 price tag, one that makes me think the storyline is actually going to be quite short. Lastly, moving on, we have some Black Friday deals. I know some people are ready to get into VR, especially with the announcement of Half-Life Alex. Now may be a great opportunity. HTC is discounting everything. However, I still don't recommend you go this route. The Cosmos is down to 600 bucks. You can get the full kit for the Vive Pro for 800 bucks. So that comes down $300. Uh, the HMD itself is down $200, but all of their products, uh, even down to the lowest, refurbished certified refurbished og vive is 350 which makes no sense to me because the rift s is going to be available for 350 brand new and i actually think it's a better product so htc unfortunately i think is still overpriced even with the discounts but if that's the route you want to go you don't have $1,000 for an index and you don't want to support Facebook or Oculus, so you want to go the HTC route, well, those products are discounted. And like I said, Rift S is going to be available for $350. That is a great deal and a great entry into VR. It is a solid device. It is definitely not the best out there, but it is a solid device for playing VR games. And it is very user-friendly. So if you're not the most tech-savvy or not a PC enthusiast or feel like you always run into some complications, it is an extremely simple setup. There is a PlayStation 4 VR bundle also available for $200 with five games. And guys, I will list all of these 
in the description. So if you need some links, just check the description. Go right to those pages and pick everything up. And last on the list, we have some other good news for VR enthusiasts. The Valve Index is now available in Canada and Japan. Now, it would be even better if they were selling through something like, let's say, Amazon, which has an amazing RMA process and is available basically worldwide. But for now, we'll take what we can get. So my neighbors in the north no longer need to smuggle an index across the border. And last on the list, just keeping with the holiday guys, I do have another video coming out, which will be the best house party VR games. Now I'll get that out before the holiday. I should have this video up by Wednesday. So on Thursday, when you have family over for Thanksgiving, instead of just sitting around and watching football, if that's not your thing, well, you can throw them into some VR party games and just have fun with the whole family. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know the drill. Give it a big thumbs up. Leave your comments. I'm always really curious to hear what your feedback is. Were there games I missed? Or are there other stories that were way more important and they just slipped right by me? Well, I need to know. I want to hear it. I want to know what's on your mind. And I will see you guys on next time.